Hey ladies and gents, it's Sister Wiz here with a review of Zende Amanthir, a mythic legions wizard from the convocation of Basilia. So without further ado, let me read his bio. Zende Amanthir, hailing from mysterious lands beyond the shores of Mythos, Zende Amanthir was sent by his guild to assist Hera Serpentspire and the Convocation of Basilia in their efforts to quell the rising power of Poxus, bringing with him an extensive array of archaic incantations. Zende has dedicated himself to the Magi of Basilia as a teacher of spellcasting and a soldier to their cause. As someone who has suffered great personal loss at the hands of Poxus's Poxus zealots, Zende is all too aware of the stakes of this deadly fight. So a tragic backstory um, and coming from lands beyond mythos and uh, joining forces with the Convocation of Basilia to take down Poxus and avenge the loss that he has suffered. It's a cool, it's a cool backstory, I think, and a very, very cool figure with some very neat accessories. So, first of all, let's take a closer look at Zende. Um, I really, really like this sort of armored tunic that he has. Um, note how spectacularly um, detailed it is with all of the rivets painted gold here, uh, holding on the armor and the padding. And of course, you know, the level of detailed work with the buckles painted that we expect from the four horsemen and their, fa their, their factory. Um, again, like I always marvel at the rivets and at the tiny little buckles and how those are painted so perfectly with no um, mess uh, or fuss because I just couldn't in a million years do that myself. Look at this buckle and look at those rivets there um, on the gloves of course uh, rivets there buckles on the gloves and it's super duper um, great work I think you know the expression on the face the gray in the beard you know the eyes the furrowed brow the look of concentration all that it's just perfectly perfectly nailed and when that comes just the execution of the paint and then we have sort of a powered up Zende head where he has these, you know, his eyes are now uh, blue and he has this blue design opening up on his forehead. So to show us that, I don't know, maybe his third, fourth and fifth eye has, has opened or something magical is going on. Um, another thing that reflects that is are these really really cool magic effects his come in blue and we get three of them of different sizes um you know that's the big one there and then there's the uh, middle one which appears to be just a scaled down version of the large one um or pretty close and then a small one so i i think these are cool for photographs especially just to show how, you know, he's magically, how he's, how he's spell casting, right? How cool is that? And um, how that looks visually. The last figure I reviewed had the snake and the uh, skull um, effects. Right, and I, I think the, these pair well because it's the same sort of translucent blue. So maybe um, you know uh, the last the last figure is going to appropriate some of these, so you can it, it can further enhance the look of the spell the spell casting. Right, and that's one of the cool things about these figures: how you can mix and match parts. Right, because you have this translucent blue there coming out of her hand, but I think it would look cool if you also had one of these effects to sort of 
making it look even better. The other cool thing about this is this remarkable um, staff that Zende has. Like really elaborate and um, let me take it out of his hand so I, you can get focused on it. Especially the top where you have those wings and then you have the orb. One of the most cool designs and really nicely and elaborately designed and painted and all that. And then the wings are somewhat reminiscent to me of the wings on the, you know, incorporated into Hera Serpent Spire's design. Um, so that's very cool. You got not just the gold, but you have coppery accents and then the blue. So that's a very, very cool staff. Maybe the coolest one, a wizard staff from all of the figures that I've already opened. So that's a pretty neat thing. The other thing is that there is the cape which I have had my eye on for a while because one of my favorite figures may end up incorporating that cape um, and then I may have Zende with his alternate non-cape look um, the cape is wired you can you know pull the hood back and that's very cool it's nice and um, thick and I think it holds a shape well it's kind of fun to sculpt Heck, look at that. <laughs> so it stands up well and it, it can do all kinds of neat uh, things. Um, but I'm eyeing on I'm eyeing that cape as a possibility for one of my favorite figures, which is Ravena, because she's got the old cape, and you can see, although the old cape is nice, it's just there, right? You can't do much with it. So Zende, I may appropriate your cape. So let me show you what the he looks like without the cape. I um, really like these pauldrons that he comes in. But if, if you're going to have the cape on, I think the pauldrons make him look like a football player because they'll be hidden under the cape and they'll just sort of just p puff it out too much. But I like the look, just this plain look. With the pauldrons, um, you know, and maybe if I take his cape and give it to uh, Ravena, then I can take her cape and give it to him, right? A fair, a fair enough trade. I don't know, because maybe I should get extras. The other tip that I have is it's cool that, um, you know, um, Zende has two heads and, and it has the pauldrons and has the alternate looks. But uh, uh, another pro tip for you guys is make sure that you order the figures of black characters because those are likely going to be the rarest in the entire line. And then later on, you'll have something that's really in demand. Just remember 1.0, Oath of the Black Character with the cool dreadlocks. He is one of the most in-demand characters because they made less of him because people ordered few of, uh, fewer of them. And ultimately, you know, he's now he's a grail because people are going back and there aren't as many of them on the market. And that's why they go for the big bucks. Anyway, here are some alternate hands. I've already put a spell casting hand on him, which I think is a, a must, you know, a must thing to have in addition to the gripping hands because you know if you're going to have the spell effects you're going to need the spell casting hand so that you can see there's four extra hands um three of you know two spell casting hands and then uh four of the grip hands and you've already seen that those work nicely with his very cool staff and they grip it tightly and there's no problem with that but now that zende has doesn't have his cape on now i'm going back and forth and thinking maybe he needs a cape see i don't know because i want that cape for ravena right let's take a look at him with this powered up head Let's see which one I'm going to choose to display him with. 
Uh, looks like I should I should hit that head with some uh, magical um, hair with the magical hair dryer because it's having it's a little bit of a tight fit there. But anyway, that'll give you an idea. So yeah, nice and tight. I hit the joints with the hair dryer before doing this. Let me do a quick. I I usually don't like pop and swap figures during reviews because. You know, I'm afraid that it'll take too long and people will get bored and stuff. But I can't resist here. Um, Ravena is near and dear to my heart because she was a fan favorite, fan voted on figure. And because um, a lot of the suggestions I made got incorporated into her and her bio. All right, so let me see. The thing about Ravena is that if I put the cape on her, she's also going to have her own hood, right? And there's, wow, the cape looks great, but she's, she, <laughs> there'll be this double hood action, which I don't know if I really mind since it's behind. The cape looks awesome. But there is a little bit of difference in the color, in the blue versus the purple or dark, dark blue of her, of her cape. Yeah. No, I don't know. And then I think Ravena's original cape might work better with her pauldrons, and I really like her pauldrons. So I don't know. That's just kind of some of the tough decisions that you need to make. But then look at if you have the cape, how much more mysterious she can look and she can be and then she pops out and she's got these like ancient relic weapons to attack. How has the review of Zende become like a love affair for Ravena? I don't know. But um, I just wanted to see what that cape would look like. Or, you know, you can always go and buy a cape from... Uh, Darla Ackerman or C. Jesm at, at Legion's Con. And then everybody can have their cape. Ah, but she looks great, doesn't she? She does. All right. And then maybe see what Zende would look like with that cape. Pretty cool. But you can see the dramatic difference in the soft goods and what a difference it makes to like have a wired cape and all that. Right? It's just how these figures have sort of taken it to the next to the next level. Right? Hope I wasn't in front of the camera the whole time. But um yeah. Super cool. Uh mix and match, pop and swap, and just have all kinds of fun. So to review, Zende has two heads, one powered up and magical with the uh one with pupils and one with the magical colored eyes. He's got three of these magic effects of different sizes. He's got his very cool staff with the translucent blue magical orb. And he has the four extra gripping hands and then also the spell casting hands. So it's chock full of goodness. I, I like Zende as you know, very much as a figure. Um, he doesn't disappoint, and I think he's going to be a popular pop and swap character just because of, you know, the armor that can be used for a samurai or a soldier. Sort of a, He's sort of a warrior wizard. He even would look cool with something that he doesn't have, uh, which, which is a sword, you know? He can use magic, and then he can also wield the sword at the same time. Um, so that's why you, you, you know incorporate a weapon from somebody else or you can you know use one of the weapons packs all right um zende uh, great job on this figure uh and um yeah i'll i'll figure out the configurations later is to signing out